Welcome back to Well Sir, let's shoot it. I'm back here at the house. I got another video for y'all. I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna kind of compare the Canic Mete SFX Pro with the Canic Rival SFX. It's the dark side. I'm gonna kind of compare them here on this video, show y'all a couple of the differences, and uh, let y'all see what you think about them. Might decide y'all want to buy one. You've seen it before on my videos. This here is mine. It's the Mete Pro with the chrome barrel. Since you've seen it, my son had come over and he had his optic on his and uh, he wanted to trade it out and put that plate on there with the, the rear sight and all and use the steel sights. And uh, he said, go ahead and put it on yours. So I put it on mine for now. I'm gonna make a video with it on there and all, you know, and uh, see how it acts. He hadn't never used it before. And uh, see, he might get me one. But it's right fancy. Old Mechanic, that's Canic's brand. And uh, I said something about it here in my last video. The MO1, I think it was. I got the book right here, yep. The MO1. And that's that optic right there they're about $250 if you buy them which online they're out of stock if you can find one they're about $250 his came with it which it costed them about $200 more to buy it with it and it was about $800 I'd say to wear mine without it and you know it didn't have the metal plates and all that either. There's a few things that, it, uh, that the uh, dark side comes with that this uh, Mete don't. But uh, it's a little more expensive. It's empty, gun's empty. Could have showed y'all that to start with, I reckon. It'd be all right. I knew it was empty check before we started. There's the dark side again. That fancy, I'm going to show you all that. That's the difference in the holsters that you get. That there's the Mete Pro holster. It's the basic paddle holster that you get with just about every canic that you buy. And that there's the uh, fancy competition style holster that you get with the uh, Rival series. You actually run your belt through it, put it on. You can run your belt through this one, but it clips over. It's not as uh, sturdy, don't seem like to me. They're still nice. I kind of like the way that one looks a little better though. It's a little smaller and it'd probably be a little more comfortable, you know, to wear. Now, we got a rival back out. It's clear, don't know if you can see in there or not, but it's clear. And I was telling you before, it's got that metal trigger. Same trigger as the Mete, Mete, whatever you want to call it there. But it's actually metal to where the Mete is polymer. But you look in the video, they look the same. You only be able to tell it by holding it and examining it yourself. As you can see there, on the top, on the Mete, you got the loaded indicator showing that it's loaded at the barrel there to where the rival doesn't have that loaded indicator. And you see on the rival, like I was saying before, that that groove cut through the top up there, that uh, window in the slide is longer on the rival than it is the Mate, and then as well on the sides is the same. It's a little bit longer. Not much though on the sides. They both have the same uh, rail on the bottom. You can put your light or something on it. That way laser light, something like that. And if you decide you want something on there like that. And uh, another difference is, you see he's got that 
Uh, the, uh, the side on the front of his is the uh, fiber optic side. And the one on the front of this one here, the uh, Mate, ver uh, other than the rival, the Mate's got the uh, trinium side on it. That's the difference in them too. Let's see. But looking at them, you can tell the lowers are basically the same. The lowers are basically the same. It's just the darn slides or what's the difference between the Rival and the Mate Pro. That's the only real difference in it. And the length of the barrel. But they're both very nice guns. I'm going to take them out here soon and shoot them or shoot the Mate. He's going to take his back with him. I probably won't get an opportunity to put it on the channel. If I do, it'll be a little while later. But I'll have that Mate on here soon, I hope. And you see on the bottom there, at the front of the slide, there's a little difference in the, uh, there's a hole in the Mate. There's two holes, and there's actually two cuts all the way through the slide on the rival. That's another little difference in it. I know this haven't fired it like that, but you can take the upper off of either one and change them around. But you can't take the barrel and change them on account of that loaded indicator on the Mate Pro. If you did interchange them, it wouldn't work. The uh, barrel on the Mate Pro will go on the rival and it'll sit and it'll seem like it would work. But I wouldn't recommend trying it. Because you got that little hole there where that loaded indicator is in the barrel. The barrel on the rival will not fit properly on the Mate because it has the loaded indicator and the rival does not have the slot for it to set into on the barrel. But they're both nice guns. I like them. We're going to see how they run here soon. Lord's will. I'll make a video of that. And I'll aggravate you then. Y'all come on to the channel. Like, subscribe, share. Well, sir, let's shoot it. Take my QR code. Share it. Get the word out. Let's make some more videos. Let's get some guns. Some big guns. Let's get all kinds in here. We want to do something. We want to shoot something. Tear something up. And have a good time. I enjoy making these videos. Showing y'all these things. I'm still learning about these guns. If there's something I missed, you know, if you want to comment there, comment. And uh, I'll look into it. And we'll see what we can do. We sure appreciate y'all coming to the channel. Lord will, we'll aggravate you later.